Hello. I'm your host today, Martha Teeter, <clears throat> on In the Studio. And today, our topic is a new program that started in April 2017 called Pathways to Employment. And my guests today are Bill Pride, who's the Executive Director of Davis Community Meals and Housing, and Julie Jenkins, who is an employee of the new program. Welcome to In the Studio. Thank you. I'm so glad you could be here today. Yeah. So, Bill, will you tell me a little bit about this program, Pathways to Employment? Well, Pathways to Employment is our newest program. Uh, it started in the planning stages about April of 2016. It was a collaboration of the City of Davis, the County of Yolo, uh, service, uh, local service-based organizations, faith-based organizations, Chamber of Commerce, and other folks and individuals in the community who wanted to provide a program to provide, provide employment to homeless and low-income individuals. Mm -hmm. And okay. we've been involved in the planning since it began, and we officially hired staff, uh, program employees as of April, and they've been working on the streets of Davis since. Mm -hmm. So uh, Davis Community Meals is then uh, contracting with these other... We're, we're the operators, basically. You're the operators. The supervisors of the program, program, running the program, yeah. yes. Okay. And what kinds of things are they doing? Well, initially we started off with folks doing beautification of the downtown mm -hmm. area. Okay. I mean, they've already done one round of uh, cleaning of the blocks that we've identified as the downtown area. Yeah. Uh, we're hoping we're going to be starting a second round. We just hired some new employees the last few days, three new employees. Great. And uh, we're going to start redoing the whole downtown again. Uh, we're hoping to expand the program in the immediate future to other opportunities for folks. Mm -hmm whether it's working with uh, some of the downtown businesses providing us with other employment opportunities or volunteer opportunities, mm -hmm. or other employers in the Davis, Davis area. Um, you know, so I know right now we've actually talked to the city about doing graffiti abatement. Mm -hmm. That's probably something we're gonna be doing at some, mm -hmm. in some portions of town at some point. And hopefully from there it's gonna expand to other opportunities. I see, I see. So um, tell me about the intent of the program. Um, is it actually um, to have them have a regular job, or is it um, kind of a stepping stone? What it's it's a stepping stone program. It's mm -hmm. certainly not it's not full time employment. It's generally about ten to twelve hours a week. Okay. Uh, it's giving folks an opportunity to get back in the workforce. You know, many folks who've been homeless for a long period of time have not been employed for a lengthy period of time. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity for them to become a little more self sufficient than where they're at. Uh, learn some job skills, better socialization on the job, mm -hmm. uh, get motivated to find different jobs. And hopefully through contacts we'll make through merchants and other businesses in, the down in downtown in Davis, we'll open up some job opportunities for the folks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it kind of provides a, a, a hand up to uh, it's, a, it's, a step up to a more permanence. It's, it's, uh, a, it's a step up for folks. In, uh, We've already had one gentleman move on from the program into a permanent job. Wow, really? And so cool. we've had some success already, and we're hoping to have more as the month, coming months come up. That's excellent. So you mentioned beautification. I think we have a couple of slides of some people actually working out in the community. I think you're in, in one of them, Julie. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, <clears throat> I think, out on D Street, um, where they're cleaning up some uh, uh, dried weeds, it looks like, and taking them away. And then uh, we have another picture where um, looks like it's all pretty clean there. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> that's really great. So um, that that's you there out mm. on the street, yeah. Nothing. Yeah, great. So tell me a little bit about your participation in the program, what it's meant to you, that kind of thing. Well, I participated in um, New Pathways, okay. which brought a 20-year-old chronically homeless person out of the street into a home. It gave me hope that I could actually become a working part of society again. Mm -hmm. uh, I vote that I'd like to pay my taxes and be a part of my community. Mm -hmm. And I feel I am a part of this community, even though I was homeless for 20 years. Wow. Okay, being homeless was very difficult, but when you have a roof over your head, and people there showing you the way that you can become a part of our, our world again. Mm -hmm. Reintegrating the homeless back into our workforce is a very important thing. 
Wow. Yeah. Because we get out there and all we can do is survive. <clears throat> and everybody's kicking you. Everybody. Mm -hmm. And there's nobody giving you a shot at anything. I don't care how nice mm -hmm. you look, how hard you drive, the minute they find you're homeless, they fire you. Wow. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so That's... being back at home gave me the hope and the courage to be able to re reintegrate back into the world. And that means a very much to me, a lot. Mm -hmm. Because I've been a nobody for 20 years, they say. To be a part of my community again is, makes me feel worth something. You know, I mean, worth, worth it. Because they certainly make us, the police won't defend us. Yeah. They won't help us. Mm -hmm. But if you live inside, they help you. Mm -hmm. And now you're living inside? Oh, yeah. Now? I have a nice apartment. Okay. I have a nice job. Fantastic. I have a lot of hope. Yeah. That's what they saw. A lot of That's hope great. that. But the world is going to change. They are going to help us. Right. And uh, Bill Pride and Becky have done wonders. Oh. And, and you know why? Because they treat us like adults. Mm -hmm. And they trust us. That, that, that really makes sense. And we've difference. never betrayed any problem with that. Mm -hmm. And reintegrating us back into the workforce is important because everyone should pull their own weight. Yeah. Working is important. When I work, I feel like I'm accomplishing something. Mm -hmm. Like I have a life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being homeless, I had no life I could only survive. Being right. an animal in the street. Wow. Being treated like an animal yeah. in the street. Wow. Okay, so it's yeah. really important what they're doing. Yeah. And it does work. It really does. Mm. So you mentioned uh, um, if you, they find you're homeless, uh, you get fired, but you, when you have a job, it makes you feel better about yourself. Like you're pulling your own oh, way. Yeah. But you can't get there if, if, if they won't give you the a barriers. chance. Yeah. The police won't, they you don't know, serve and protect <clears throat> us. Mm. They kick us. Mm. They yeah, won't help us. That's not, that's not but good. Bill yeah. Pride has put his foot forward yeah. on that yeah. and, oh, and, 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 and helped us. Excellent. And I believe this program will work. Yeah. And it's because he treats us like people, mm -hmm. not yeah. like animals. That's great. That's great. Now, you mentioned the New Pathways program. And Bill, can you tell us a little bit about that program? Well, New Pathways mm -hmm. is considered to be a housing first, harm reduction type model program. Mm -hmm. It's a small program we've operating now for about ooh, a year and a half or so. It opened in February of 2016. Okay. It's a small program providing housing to four folks. Mm -hmm. And they're living in a small home in Davis. And we're providing them wraparound case management services. Okay. And lots of opportunities to become housed and to become self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. And it requires them to get, obligates them to be eligible for a, the housing choice voucher program. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that'll make it easier for them to move into housing in the short term. Mm -hmm. And and you were a graduate of that. Oh program, yeah, and yeah. I live in a really nice place. I mean, it's great. I'm very lucky. Yeah. I really am. I'm, I'm very blessed, and I appreciate every every bit of everything they've done for me. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. So um, uh, we had talked. You mentioned a little bit about. Um, other kinds of jobs, because because getting out there, well, particularly in this heat and uh, getting out every day, there's it's kind of really very physical work. So um, other job opportunities, I think, might uh, help. And I, I I understand you're hoping to uh, invite the businesses. We, to we're going to be reaching out to local businesses, the merchants, and employers in Davis in the next month or so, mm -hmm. and trying to find more volunteer opportunities for yes. our Pathways to Employment mm -hmm. staff, and also hopefully having some folks step forward to offer some permanent employment to some folks. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always surprising to find out, you know, how many folks that, you know, have been homeless for periods of time actually have job skills that they can use, whether it's construction, mm -hmm. yeah. whether yeah. it's landscaping. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a real variety of folks. Mm -hmm. And so they all come from all kinds of educations and backgrounds, and it'd be great to have them be able to find a way to get into jobs where they've already had training, and if yes. not, then hopefully some jobs that they, they can perform in and perform well in. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, good. So it'll be good to have a variety of not just everybody out on the street every oh, day, yeah. but, um, yeah. But boy, those streets yeah. need it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it really helps. Now, I understand that at the city council, they um, made uh, beautification of downtown a, a priority. So this, in fact, program fits right in with oh, yeah, the, and the, uh, and the priority. Oh, yeah, and the businesses downtown, we're cleaning the herb blocks. The hot dogger always comes out, and he says, hey. He gives us hot dogs, and he says, thank oh. you so very much. They come out. They appreciate us being there. Oh, they that's care wonderful. About it, you know? That's really wonderful, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah, so um, I, there is a website that tells a little bit more details about the program. I believe there was an yes. article in the Enterprise. Um, and uh, so people can go to that website, um, employment.pathways.org, and I believe there's a section where they can get more involved. Yes, we, we have <clears throat> opportunities for people to donate. If they have projects they'd like f our folks to kind of work on, we, mm -hmm. can, we can talk about that. And like I said, hopefully they will get more of the community involved to provide employment opportunities for many of the mm -hmm. folks we have in our program. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they could donate money, and there's a list of items they could donate? There's items we need. There's certainly mm -hmm. dollars would be a great help, donations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I mean, there's a wide variety of ways for folks to get involved and help out. Right. And I, I understand, I'm sorry. Do they could come out in the street and talk to us. Yeah. And um, they see who we are. Yeah, and They're I guess nice. some of the businesses are doing oh, that, Oh, too. yeah. I, we've had a couple of extra jobs, you know, on weekends and oh, things like that. I they see. come out and talk to us, and mm -hmm. the real open-hearted people they mm -hmm. are. The Davis is a wonderful place. Oh, that's great. And I think probably the person-to-person -person contact yes. is really important. It because is. Because then they see... Who you are. You know, who you are. Which counts. <laughs> right, right. That's, that's really great. Yeah, and so as I understand in the program, there are, might be opportuni different kind of opportunities. Like I, I understand that um, you've just been made a lead worker. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm crew leader, yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, that's wonderful, yeah, it made me so happy to do that. Yeah. I felt so good about giving you promotion and a raise. I hope it was a sickle pink, okay? That's I was great. Really happy. That's great, yeah. and and. Um, maybe at later stages, uh, other kinds of supervisory yeah. skills. That's it's really good wonderful. to yeah. get involved in supervising mm -hmm. other folks, mm -hmm. learning how a work environment works with other folks and kind of dealing with all the issues that kind of come up. Yeah. And it's certainly good to have Julie here, who's been a you know, wonderful uh, uh, success in our programs yeah. and performs well with other folks and has a great direction of life. Yeah, that's really great. Yeah, well, we're, we're honored to have you here on the studio, and I, it sounds like there's a mutual appreciation. You oh, yeah. very much appreciate what oh, this program has oh, done yeah. for you and, and yeah, all the people sure do. at Davis Community Meals. Thank you so and, much for me. Yes. And uh, Bill appreciates you. And uh, well, we appreciate you very much coming okay. in, both of you, and I hope that people feel like now they, they can have a sense of what they could do here to help solve this problem in a, in a very constructive way. Um, so uh, we want to thank you for joining us today. And uh, we hope you will go to the website and learn a little bit more about it. And I think there will be updates, including this very show, uh, on that website very soon. Um, and uh, find other ways where you can be involved in helping out with homeless issues. So thank you so much for coming today. Thank you, Martha. And thank you for joining us on In the Studio.